free trading time. So today I'd like to share with you two extremely critical stuff in terms of technology. Okay. So uh, I need to make a disclaimer here first, as usual, okay, because I want people to uh, to understand what I'm presenting, not uh, what they are thinking. Okay. Number one. What I'm presenting here is technology. Technology means what is this? What can this do? What can not this do? Okay, what can it do? What cannot uh, cannot it do? How this happen? This is not who is the best fighter, who is the older lineage, uh, who can fight who. It's not that, okay. So so let this clear, okay. If you want to watch this video, make sure that you want to, you want to understand what it is, what can it do, what cannot it do, and how it is, and why it is, and not about who is the grandmaster, uh, which lineage. Uh, all kinds of those things which is nothing to do with this what, how, what can it do, what can it not do, those kind of stuff, this technical stuff, okay? So uh, let's start. So there are two questions. Lately, uh, many of you in the video, in, uh, in the YouTube and so forth and Facebook message me, ask me questions. Two, just two questions, I want to answer it today. The first question is, how can Wing Chun take ground fighting when you are down in here? Okay? First question, how can Wing Chun take that? Okay? The second thing is the internal. Is there any internal in Wing Chun? Okay, and uh, so today I like to share with you technical. Okay, just take what I'm saying as technical data. You can disagree with me, but present data. Okay. Don't get into this lineage, that lineage, or Hendrik is uh, basing, basing this lineage or those. Forget about this. I told you guys already right now, okay? It is strictly this, okay? Now, I like to start this serious issue with uh, a quote or a cite from a, a really respectable Taoist grandmaster in Taiwan, who had passed away like a one or two years ago. His name is uh, Li Rui Lie. Okay. So, so, so this is a, a grandmaster in Taoism and no Chinese culture, Buddhism, he know of very deeply. And the guy who practice, and his name as the guy who only talk about Tao but don't talk about money. That is the person he is. He lived until 91 uh, year old and when he was young, he was recruited to be the Japanese army go fight in China and he found out how brutal and evil human can be. That's why he just, he just decided to walk his path, walk his talk. Okay. So, Grandmaster Li really said a thing when uh, People asking him, um, "Hey, why is the Chinese burn that uh, that paper, the, 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 the golden paper, uh, paper with the golden flip there? You know, the, they call it the, uh, the, the, the paper money. Okay, why is it? Is that uh, superstitious? If you go to look at the paper in the funeral or in the uh, in the in the temple, Buddhist temple, Taoist temple, they always burn that paper with uh, you have a stick, a, a gold on top of it, a big gold plate, that those kind of stuff. So Grandmaster Li really saying this. He said, uh, 
You know what is superstitious? If one have no idea what is the ancestor and the ancient mean and following it, that is superstitious. If one have no idea what it is, what does it mean, and critic it, that is also superstitious. That is what he said before he start the lecture. Go back to why is this a uh, uh, burning of this uh, this uh, paper, you know, with the gold plated, this kind of stuff. Okay, and uh, that is how the ancient Chinese. Uh, uh, thing, okay, and reason, you know, like this uh, uh, grandmaster Li really, because he's one of the guy who study those, one of the top expert of the Chinese culture and Taoism, in the, in the era, you know, ended two three years ago after he passed away, okay, he know Buddhism, he know Taoism, he know Confucian, he practice it. It's well known. You go to Taiwan, you can check out who is Grandmaster Li really. Okay, now. So the same thing. If we have no idea what is Wing Chun, what is internal, and we follow it, that's called superstitious. And if we have no idea what is Wing Chun, what is internal, and what is the traditional Chinese martial art, what is Qi Qi Guang say, and we keep critic it, that's also superstitious. And we don't want to do that because the Chinese doesn't teach us this. Okay, if you look at, if you go uh, 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 search out in in YouTube, uh, Grandmaster Li really as a lecturer, you see how he explained everything, how things defined in the past, including those uh, uh, meditation stuff and so forth. Okay, so that because he carry on uh, meditation uh, uh, educations for his entire life. He, his goal is to educate people in, for his entire life. He do that. Okay, now, let's talk about the first thing. People say, well, you know, when the Wing Chun get down to the ground, what are you going to do? Are you going to uh, die or blah, blah, blah. So look at, well, what is the facts there? Well, what is the reality there? What is it? Okay, instead of trapped in our mindset. You want to know what it is, like a design engineer. You know what it is, only you know what it is, you can solve that problem and you can clearly, honestly, and uh, actually effectively uh, know what it is and uh, solve what it is. Or sometimes it can be solved, sometimes it cannot be solved. Okay. So, so we want to get into what exactly this issue is. What is the root core issue? Okay, so I uh, start with this. Okay. Imagine, imagine you are in a battlefield, a battlefield. You sit in one of those four-wheel drive, those car, mobile, you know, four-wheel type thing. You have a driver, you are in a four-wheel drive, you sit in there, and there's another four-wheel drive which is from the enemy or the opponent coming in to attack you, okay? And you found out that your driver has dead. So your car stopped there, and then the opponent's four-wheel drive is running at you, coming at you, okay? Now, you have a pistol, a pistol, a handgun, and you know that the handgun is, say, have a distance of, say, uh, 10 meters, and, and you see this, this car is running toward you, your opponent is, uh, coming toward you and uh, you don't see his, they are shooting you know the car is coming and you say oh this guy they must have no bullets anymore so they're gonna use the car to crush me okay so the car is coming is going to crush you going six uh, uh, like this you know all angles like to crush you you know like the car go face to face square now you have this pistol 
Okay? And you sit in the car. Okay? And then your pistol, you say, well, I'm going to shoot the driver. I'm going to shoot the, 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 the wheel. I'm going to shoot blah, blah, blah. Okay? Now, if we are in that position, don't you think you're going to scare the hell out of you? Because you cannot get up from the car. You're trapped there. You, your pistol has only 10 meter range. And that car can come from this direction, that direction, that direction. And you know the other party, the car is going to aim to crush you. Even when you shoot him, he's going to crush you in. Don't you feel really scared there? And you become reactive and just shoot, shoot, shoot. You are not response anymore. Response meaning you have a choice. React just meaning that I just react, try to, to help myself. Okay? Imagine if you're in this situation, you're sitting in this four wheel drive, the, the, the driver has died, and then you have this pistol or handgun, and the other parties, the enemy's car is crushing in. And you. Okay? Imagine that. How feel, how helpless you are in it. Okay? Now you get it? That is exactly when you're down on the ground or you face somebody going to take you down. That's exactly what it is. Okay? That's exactly how you feel. Now you can say, you know what? Many people say, you know, I can grab his ball if I'm going down the ground. I can poke his eye. I can kick his groin when he comes, you know, want to take me down. There's no different than when the car smash in already, you say, well, I'm going to use my handgun to shot his tire, shot his uh, uh, driver. How effective is that? Do you solve the issue? You don't. Because the issue is what? It's impulse momentum. The momentum the in, it is coming at you. Okay, The impulse is coming at you. You like it or not. So the entire issue of this uh, Wing Chun can take this ground fighting or take down blah blah blah. We don't talk about who wins, who loss. Unless one solves the momentum issue, one is not going to go anywhere. It just like exactly like the guy who sit in the car, four wheel drive, have a handgun out there, try to shoot at the car coming at 100, uh, 100 miles per hour at him. From the frontal directions, that's exactly what it is. So what what is the what is the issue? The issue is impulse momentum, not your handgun. Your handgun is not work. Sure, you you, you can shoot the driver. The car just crash into you. Who died? You died. Okay. And what is the chance that you can shoot? You can you can hit the the, the driver. Compared with you get crushed in that in the car. What is the probability? Let's, let's talk about physics. Okay? That's why exactly it is. You have this. So, what is the problem? The problem is the impulse momentum. So, right now, I want to take away the, the name Wing Chun. Because if I talk Wing Chun, then 10 people, 10 billion people will stand up and say, Well, you're against Wing Chun, you're against advancing this lineage, and blah blah blah. Let's take it out there. Let's talk about short strike, sticking body short strike. Because remember, Wing Chun is a type of sticking body short strike, common denominator, sticking body short strike. So let's leave the, 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 the term Wing Chun alone. Okay? Because we are not going to into those. Who, who, who thing? We want to know what, how, why is that? Now, get back to the analogy of his car, his truck is coming in and you are here. In this seat, where you have a handgun. If you know how to drive the four-wheel drive car. You know how to drive your four-wheel drive car. If you are in the driver's seat, it is a, a different feeling now, right? 
He can come at you at whatever you want. You can drive your four-wheel drive. You can move your car. And of course you have a handgun, you can shoot him too. Feel the feeling. What is the difference? Okay? Move your four-wheel drive. He comes straight at you, you don't say you play with him. And you have a handgun, you have an advantage. But if you just have a handgun sitting like a duck there, try to hope, wish you shoot that guy, you can you you know try to wish you can shoot the driver and you try to you wish that it's far enough that the car is doesn't crash into you. Well, how many wish you have? But if you know how to drive a four-wheel drive, you just go, go sideways, shoot him. Okay? Even if you don't get him, you can get away. If, you, if this is a 10 ton truck, you say, why the hell I have to go face him away? Just go away. Because I'm a four-wheel drive. He have just a, a 10 ton truck, which is a, not a four-wheel drive. Four-wheel drive can go up, down, whatever. Okay? So it's exactly the same thing in the sticking body short strike up. Okay, so, so what I'm going to cover here you know, in the YouTube is in my book Wing Chun Matrix and also something I might use the, uh, in the medita Meditation Matrix books. Okay? So those are intended to be a textbook, so if you want explanation, go down there. Okay, now, so, sticking body short strike. You know it is in the short strike range up. You know there are three things like you're handling your four-wheel drive. The first is your body because this is your mass, your, 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 your biggest mass of your body. The second is your feet which is supporting this bigger mass for mobility. And only the third is your arm which is the handgun. So this is the four-wheel drive, this is the handgun. Okay? If you keep in train your handgun, you don't have this four-wheel drive, you dead me. Okay? Because the bottom line of fighting, the bottom line of takedown and groundwork is impulse momentum. Okay? So you know, in the short strike up, sticking body, short strike up, her Chinese definitions for 500 years is the three part, the body, carry the most weight, it's very important, you know how to deal with it, your leg which is supporting this, which is your forehead drive, in other words, and then your arm, which is the hand up. Okay, now, within just three, the feet, the body, the, the arm, you have what? You have four momentum handle, more momentum handle, which is, from your feet bowl to this calf side. That is number one. The second is this hip side. Okay, high and hip side. The third one is your lower back side. The fourth is the shoulder blade and shoulder side. You, know, you can check it in the winter matrix for that. The four handle, that is your four heel drive. Okay, now, if you never develop this four heel drive, How are you supposed to face a car which is come at you? A truck which is come at you? And then you sit down there, you say, well, I can poke his eyes, I can do this and that. It's just like the guy who's sitting on the, the car, uh, a, a dead car there, and, and trying to uh, shoot with a handgun, hoping we, we are wishing. Well, why are people sitting in that situation, get nervous, get scared, feel helpless? Because they know. This is against the law of physics. They know. They can reason whatever they want, but they know this is, law of, this is against physics. That's why they are in reactive mode, it's not responsive. Response meaning if they can drive this four-wheel drive, go side, whatever, that's no response. I, I don't have to go this way. You push me to do this, I don't want to do it. I can play my own game. Okay? Now, so the bottom line of all these questions of this can Wing Chun going down to the ground, blah blah blah, or you can get beat up and everything, is what guess? It, first we have to identify the problem is not the ground. The problem is this impulse momentum problem. The second problem is do one 
have the four wheel drive and be able to drive it. If you don't have the four wheel drive and be able to drive it, how are you going to facing something, a, a big truck run to you with a small handgun? Okay, this is what it is. Okay, so the body, the feet, the arm, the three things like the, the four wheel drive and the handgun. Okay, and the four wheel drive, which is one, this is two, thigh and hip area, the back area, and the shoulder, shoulder blade, and four of them. And soft strike, it gets to here. When you want to dash into here and torque and turn and smash and crush, you need to have that four wheel drive develop, the four handles develop. That's why it's wrote in the Wing Chun Matrix book. People sometimes do not get what I'm writing in that book. People are thinking that uh, I'm uh, either uh, put down certain people or uh, uh, copying Bruce Lee or whatever. In fact, I'm my bottom line is that's why education bringing what the ancient short strike arts basic common denominator inside the book because in the west we never read we never shall them have those kind of information okay so one one question usually people ask me so what is the difference between a normal uh, like a bjj or judo throw or wrestling throw and your short strike inside it well short strike have a uniqueness Short strike in the short strike zone have throw and all kind of stuff, but they never do this like judo. They never lean like this. They do crush in, okay? They crush in, but attack the lower part in, and then the shoulder get in. You stick, you crush. They don't do this. They don't do this. They don't do this kind of stuff, okay? They don't do wrestling, those kind of stuff. Just crush in, pull, pull, and uh, just trick and all those kind of stuff. In the, with the core in the strike, multi strike, or every joint strike, and up and down strike. That's short strike. So short strike is not this. Short strike is this. Okay? All this is written clearly, including the shoulder, the use of shoulder. This is called the right shoulder. It comes in right away with the, the knee and everything crushing. You see the body sticking in the radio. He move, you walk, you crush in, you move, those kind of stuff. Pressure, okay. That's why in winter we always call up. Sick white, eating his position. Big bowl. We pressure him. That's what it is. You don't do this. This is not big pole, this is not sick wine. We are not saying that which who is good, who is bad, uh, 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 bad. We're saying that. What is this thing? What is this thing? And when you do this, all this thing is what? Your four wheel drive and the tree handling. Oh, your, your, your body and uh, your hand down there. It trained very differently than the the, uh, the, the the judo wrestler BJJ. It's a different character. It's different art. That, that's why it has a different characteristics. It always wants to be here, striking, keeping and throw. Okay. And it doesn't want to be to grab it like that because it doesn't want to play with your muscle. You want to play with it, the talk. That's why in the Southern uh, Classic, you say that from the, 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 the football up, it just talk, okay, to strike and defense. This is the quick. So you have the seven balls, you have the three part, the, the, the body, okay, the, the feet, the, uh, the arm, you have the four wheel drive, you have the seven balls. 
That's what it is. And that's why this is a characteristic. Now, when you get down to the ground, the same seven, four, one, one, two, lower back and shoulder. And shoulder. If I want to do this, or I want to do kick, flip, or I want to do turn, those are the handling of the four wheel drive. So, so the the bottom idea on this, on this people ask me, can Wing Chun go fire this and that? We need to know what is Wing Chun. Wing Chun is a type of speaking body short strike. You need to know Wing Chun has this four wheel drive. It's not just a handgun. Okay? And see how this four wheel drive in action close and out here. This is the uniqueness. I'm not saying that Wing Chun is the best or anything. I say that this is the vehicles to deal with the impulse momentum. Without this thing train, what, what are you doing? So if you look at whatever we talk about here, the ancient said about this four-wheel drive is totally opposite of so-called structure. So if you can compare it, structure is, for example, when you in the car, remember the analogy of the car? You have the handgun, the other car comes with you. And then structure means what? You lock all the, the gears. You say, well, because I lock all these gears, I can crush with whatever is coming in. I have much, much more power, I have a triangle, I can crush with him. Sure. If that car is a small bicycle, if that car is a 10 ton truck, where are you? Not to mention, you look at the southern Chinese. How is the size, the mass, the muscle compared with the northern Chinese or the Mongolian? Are you serious? You want to go using those, lock up everything, try to again something like this in a high speed? Or you want to be like in the short strike cannon set, agile. Okay? I just give you what you want. I don't want to go 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 crushing at you. So structure is completely the opposite of it. You want to have this four-wheel drive working so that you can work here, all this four-wheel drive, because there's the your your uh, the, the, the Short strike using us, and when you're going down the ground, you have all the four wheel drive, you can roll up. At least you want to know how to get out from that, that, that position. It's like sitting down like that, the car is coming in. Are you going to sit down there thinking my handgun can do this, do this? I can jet poke your eyes, I can kick your groin. Or I say, well, I'm getting the heart out of this place. Okay? So, Let's not get into can Wing Chun uh, fire when you go on the ground. Let's get into what is this problem? Impulse momentum. What is this problem? Hey, hello, do you have you developed or trained or, 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 or be able to drive your four wheel drive? If you couldn't even do that, what good is all this argument? My handgun can shoot really, really. Uh, really, really uh, focused or really uh, on target. You're the bad that when people come at you and you say, "Well, I hang down and shoot there," and then you, you, you sit on that place. Or you want to shoot him? The car is crushed in. So how are you going to deal with it? Okay. So that's one thing. That's why the book Winter Matrix. For past 100 years, you don't see people talk about this, which is a really extremely important thing in the sticking body short strike. Without this develop, you don't have the sticking body short strike up. I don't say that. Go read whatever from German Chi Chi Kong down to 
1930. That's what it is. So, just look at data. I'm not attacking anybody or any grandmaster or any lineage. It is just, we want to follow the ancient, like the grandmaster Li Rui Lie said. If we follow something, we don't know what the heck it is, it's called superstitious. If we critic something which is we have no idea what it is, it's called superstitious. We don't want to be superstitious and we want to solve problem. If it is a, a impulse momentum problem, you try to solve with your hand down sitting down there, you can solve you can try to reason with yourself until the end of the world. It's not going to solve it because your your mind, your body know, hey come on, this is impulse momentum, this is a small handgun, cannot do it, there's a truck coming in it. And they are well trained, okay? So this is number one. Number two is all this internal, internal stuff. It's just months ago I wrote a, a, a an artic, uh, I wrote in my blog, an article in my blog. My question is this, just cut it short. My question for all the grandmaster everybody in the world is this. Number one, evidently those so-called the internal art grandmaster in the past is copying General Chi Ji Guang. Because what they practice is today we can track it, dig it out, is similar to what Grandmaster Chi Ji Guang's practice. And at that time, they live in the same period of time. So why don't their name come out? Why is there General Chi Ji Guang? Well, obviously they are copying General Chi Ji Guang, but there's no credit given. So ask the question. The second, why is that one, two generations later, people preaching against or the opposite of General Chi Ji Kong teaching? Where General Chi Ji Kong said, who is the faster to win? Okay? Not using flow to defeat fast. And indeed, the older generations of the so called internal art is following Chi Ji Kong. And now you have this theorem, beautiful theorem. The slow defeating the fast. Now, get it straight. What is going on here? Okay. Now, I want to give you another analogy on this internal stuff. Or internal gene, all this kind of stuff. If we go to YouTube, we can watch David Copperfield, the magician, the, 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 the top magicians performing the flying flying okay just go to youtube see how elegant is how, how, how nice how great is that flying okay now will we bring that into the aerospace engineering department of the university will we bring that in and argue with the engineering student on who study the L, uh, this uh, the, the, this uh, this uh, the, 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 the space and uh, so the uh, the plane and all this kind of thing aer aerospace and everything the engineering that David Copperfield flying is real it has some magic power w will we do that you now going to the aerospace engineering and saying you know Grandmaster David Copperfield, he fly arrogantly, you know, that is the uh, aerodynamics, blah, 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 blah. And I deal with those people who study engineering, who build aeroplane. Will you see things like that? If you do that, people say, you, you are out of your mind. David Copperfield is the master of magic. No question about it. But come on, this is this is aerospace engineering. This is the how to build plane, not the plane magic. Okay. So today you look at it, it's the same thing. Even the Chinese today, you look at it in the Taiwan, uh, even like for example the Taiwan TV. The general public and the TV questions all those gene flying people and all this thing, and even the interview. Tai Chi Jing expert 
to show them what exactly it is. And you can see that. Okay? It is physics, it's not magic, it's not gym, it's not chi, it's not all, not all those kind of stuff. And demonstration is demonstration. It's like that with Copperfield, he can do, put on a good demonstration of a show business on his flying video. Just go look at it. But that thing is not going to go into the aerospace engineering, okay? Because this is just a show business. Now, if we go one step in details, one step in details, even anybody be able to say, I, I take the fish here and then I can bounce it up. There are two issues here. Number one, how long do you think I have to train that my body just to have this demo done? The show business done. How long? Probably months or years even sometimes. Okay. The second, I only train one thing, which is be able to take this force called gene. Okay? So this is just two problems, right? There's one is take a long time, second is a very narrow stuff. Now, you look at things in the reality. The other guy who push, if he's a bigger guy and higher speed under impulse momentum, will you be able still to take that? Because you're human, there's a boundary there. The second thing is in the fighting, as again the Wing Chun Matrix books, I saw that. The Wing Chun, there are three flames there. Forward, coming from the side, coming from the side, and then each of them have three levels. One, two, three. You have nine locations can come in. Do you think that I'd be able to fudging this way? Be able to gut the attack could be from the nine directions. Okay. Well, the answer is you can. That's why if you spend three months in training the attack of these nine directions compared with the one guy who stand there string, stand, spend a year to, to how to take this punch and throw him away, all this kind of thing in a real fight, you screwed totally because the thing can come from different directions okay? so that's the reality well you can have a, a master who say well I can know how I can I'll throw him for them more like the uh, 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 David Copperfield, the great magicians. I have no question on that, that he's good at it. But in real life, are you serious? Are you call that internal when this is so limited and the range is so 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 narrow? How is that any type of martial arts to just train that thing? Not to mention, how long do you think you're going to learn that thing? How many people have uh, claimed that and really learned that thing? Have you seen anybody have those kind of skills? Defeat anybody? Use that in Thailand? Fight Thai boxing? Thai boxer? Have you seen all this Jin guy like fighting Xi Xiaodong for the past two years? Take a look at the, the video. That's the reality. Okay? And on this internal term, everybody likes to use internal. Well, as I point out in the uh, meditation matrix books, you need to develop your calmness, and then uh, you have the awareness, and then you study something to get the insight to do that. If you really internal have that insight, don't you know that? This is risky business in the real fighting because it is so bound in condition. It's very conditioned. It's not unconditioned. It's, 
only this range, the narrow range, his weight, so that I can throw him or anything. Because when it comes from, as we say that, from the nine direction, especially from the leg, you look at all those people who say, oh, I cannot be throw, I have chi. But then the next time, the next thing, you look at in the video, even from China already, next thing is people going to do a take down, bring down right away. That's what it is, reality. So if you if you know how to have this performance like David Copperfield was like good good. But then don't bring that to the uh, aerospace engineering because those things is not going to go fly your aeroplane, okay? So this is what I like to share with you today. That's why I go for this education. Because we need to know why it is in order to progress. Not about who win, who lost, who is the greatest grandmaster, I can beat you, you can beat me, uh, we can fight. The entire brain is, is filling with that, that kind of mindset instead of seeing what it is. So it's the same thing again as the boxer Rabian guy. The entire mind thinking, oh, you know, I have the heaven's chi power. I can against the western's bullet. We don't even know that there's an impulse momentum issue. What is the impulse momentum of bullet shoot at you compared with your 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 chi, your your, your belief on your body can against the bullet? Same old, same old. Hundred to be exact, today is one hundred. Uh, this year is one hundred twenty years already. Still going to go that direction? What AI is coming in and going to wipe out our job for most people? If we don't change. So, this is what I'd like to share with you. I know I speak direct. I know a lot of people will not like this. But for sake for our next generations and the future generation, our offspring, we want them to be like a living in fantasy. You know, have some public minded. Instead of, oh, I'm a grandmaster. I say this. I say this. You know, my grandmaster say this. I test this. I do this. Let's go like the university, look at things, clearly what it is. Something we can solve, something we cannot solve. Something we can improve, something we cannot improve. That's life. So this is for you today.